Hey guys, what's going on? It's Food of Viewer. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. Uh, we do a lot of videos inside the truck. Well, today we're doing a video outside the truck. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, doing an oil change on it. Uh, so we'll bring you around the truck, I guess. A lot of people ask. It's a 7.3 Power Stroke. Dually. It's uh, 216,000 miles on it. Runs pretty good for a 2001. Uh, we got all the everything we're gonna need here. Uh, you just need a ratchet, 19 millimeter, oil filter wrench, oil filter, a uh, blackstone lab to get the oil analysis, catch can, 15 quarts. We're using the Motocraft 15 W40. I was using Shell Rotella, but I changed to Motocraft. Seems to like it a little bit better. Probably because it's Ford product and it's another Ford product. And uh, yeah, and the funnel. So let's go ahead and get under the truck and start this. Take the oil fill cap off too. So we get some better suction out of there. All right, so underneath the truck, oil pan. Uh, she leaks a little oil. Uh, no big deal though, you know. If it leaks oil, you know you have oil. Uh, transmission pan, I gotta do a flush on that at some point too. So like I said, it's a 19 millimeter bolt, the drain plug. So I'm gonna loosen that up and we'll get the oil going. And like I said, I do have the uh, the Blackstone Laboratories. Uh, the thing for the, they do oil analysis for you to see what how your oil's doing. Yeah, it's, this is the first change with the Motocraft, so I wanna see how that performed. So let's go ahead and get this bolt one done. All right, oil's draining. It's always a mess. Do got the paper towels here, but it don't really help. Uh, so it's like 15 quarts that goes in, usually about 12 or 13 comes out uh the oil filter does take two quarts so yeah i guess really there's your two quarts plus the 13 that equals 15 uh whew, a little warm took it for a drive went to dunkin donuts so it's a little warm uh so now we wait let it drain and then we'll go to the oil filter and for the most part all the oil's out uh it took about five minutes uh so let me get the filter wrench and we'll get that off all right, oil plugs back in. Uh, don't forget to do that or you'll have a serious mess in your driveway. Got the oil filter wrench. Uh, this thing has saved me a lot of time. The other one I was using was trash. It would pretty much just scrape the side of the filter. And uh, yeah, it would be a pain. It used to take me like a half hour with this thing. It's literally like a tug on it and it comes loose. So like I said, it's two quarts of oil in here. Uh, so I pretty much give it a little bit of a turn. Some of it comes out, uh, let it drain. Give it more of a turn, more comes out. Uh, then it usually is probably about a quart and a half that I leave in there. And I just kind of use my hand and make sure I don't spill anywhere. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this off. All right, oil filter's loose. Got some oil draining out of it. Like I said, two quarts. Two quarts come out of this thing. So we'll let that drain a little bit so we don't have crazy spillage, but there's always some spillage. No big deal though. All right, oil filter's out. Uh, you wanna make sure your little O-ring, your little gasket comes off with it. If it doesn't, get it off of that because that'll cause problems with the new one going on. Uh, so let's go ahead. We gotta prime the new one, two quarts into oil into it. So you don't starve anything for oil. So we'll come underneath from underneath the truck and uh, we'll prime it and we'll put the new one on. All right, new oil filter. It's an FL 1995 oil filter. And let's just take it out, flip it upside down. Make sure this one's got that O-ring. And uh, we'll put two quarts of Motocraft oil into it. All right, oil filter's got the two quarts in there. Uh, I take my finger and dip it in there and lube up this o-ring so now let's get it on the truck all right oil filters on i pretty much go hand tight and then maybe like a full turn with the wrench just so it's secured on there nice and good uh that ain't coming loose at all um so yeah now that that's on we are pretty much done underneath the truck uh drain plugs in filters on old oil out new oil in the filter uh let's get the new oil into the crankcase Back under the hood, 
15W40. Uh, it's really only 13 quarts. It's like I said, about 100 times now. Two quarts going to the filter. And the rest go in here. So we'll dump all the rest of the remaining oil in here and we'll fire up. All right, last of the oil's going in. We'll get the, the old oil drained out of that and into the containers, bring it to uh, O'Reilly's. And uh, yeah, so when the oil's in, we'll solder up, make sure we got oil pressure and no leaks. Should be a few more minutes. Just make sure you check the level too. I didn't mention that. Looks like we're a little over. Uh, probably because we're not level. That's, uh, that's my assumption. Because it takes 15 quarts and we put in 15 quarts. So we'll uh, fire it up, make sure we got oil pressure. All right, we're in the truck. Wait to start lights out. 216665 is the mileage on this thing. And we got oil pressure. Oil light's still on. There it goes. All right, make sure we got no leaks. Looks good to me. All right, we'll load up the old oil. We'll go to O'Reilly's. All right, old oil's all strapped in, ready to go to O'Reilly's. So we'll head over there now. She is purring after this oil change. There's somebody coming. Got like a blind curve over there, so it's kind of a pain. Especially this wide swing, you end up in the other lane. No boost, I don't think the gauge really works. EGT gauge is like 300 degrees off. Previous owner, they put it in a downpipe off the turbo. It's supposed to go in the exhaust manifold. So I gotta move that because it's, like I said, it's reading like 300 degrees cooler than we're really running here. And the boost gauge don't work. Or I'm not building boost, either way. Um, should probably get that looked at. All right, I'm gonna focus on driving to O'Reilly's. And when we get back home, I'll show you how to do the Blackstone lab thing so you can get your oil analysis. So everything's wrapped up here in this, uh, the Blackstone thing, the analysis. <clears throat> There's a slip that comes with it. You just fill out, you know, what type of motor you got, what type of oil you used, and how many miles between the oil changes. And you just go on their website and you go to services, pay, and you pay for the oil analysis. Uh, if you want to get the, the canisters for it, I think you just go to this, some uh, products, free test kits. Here we go. You go up to free test kits on products. Going a little slow. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. So yeah, you just go to products, free test kits, request test kits. That's pretty much that. They pretty much just send you a report of everything that is uh, going on in your engine. So yeah, it's pretty nice. I also got a log of everything I do to the truck. Uh, so you can see 31,000, th um, Jesus, 31,000, 3,100 miles between the oil change. Pretty much do it every 3,000. That's what the truck's used to. So uh, yeah, and you can see we changed from Rotella to Motocraft on that one. So uh, that's pretty much how I do an oil change on the 7.3 Power Stroke. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I'll do more. Uh, I got a lot of things I want to do with the truck. So if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments, and we'll do more videos like this. So uh, thanks for watching, and peace out.